contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Raw World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, he is the Raw World Heavyweight Champion. The game, Triple. Mankind and Triple H face off for the Raw Heavyweight title. The second title defense of Triple H, the first being Brock Lesnar, who he handily defeated on Raw, the second week of Raw. First week of Raw, he won that title in a Royal Rumble. He was one of the last competitors to enter that Rumble and was able to finish this match as a huge running DDT from Triple H to Mankind. Mankind was able to defeat The Undertaker in order to get into this matchup. As you see, Mankind get whipped into the corner, tearing buckle, and a huge clothesline by Triple H to send him down to the mat. A couple of stiff kicks by Triple H as we get a headlock. And now grabbing at the back, chopping in the knee. Triple H doing a lot of damage to Mankind. This is an Extreme Rules match as you get a nice rear naked choke. Camel clutch-like maneuver by Triple H. Mankind able to get out of it with his immense strength. Mick Foley here. Foley's a little baby boy. Has done a lot to get here. He defeated Undertaker twice. Once in a hardcore match, which he was trying to get to the hardcore championship, and then again to try and get to this championship himself. The ref actually getting in the way of Mankind trying to grab that steel... Ch I believe it was a steel... Uh trash can as we see under Triple H already going for a pedigree on the outside here on that bare concrete slamming the head of Mankind in that concrete will he get the pin here too no a two count by Mick Foley able to get out as I swear his head bounced off that concrete like it was a bouncing ball he should be passed out right here but Mankind has gone through a lot and can go through a pedigree into concrete apparently as we see a nice reverse neck breaker by Mankind as he goes to try and get one of his nice friends in the shape of a coffee cup going to try and douse Triple H in some liquid refreshment blinding him in the eyes as Triple H grabbed that chair Mankind a veteran of ECW liking to grab weapons from the fans Playing up to the fans as well. 
He sees that Katari kind of wants to get it, but he's going to get one from underneath the ring instead. He was inspired by that fan. As I see Triple H grab that crutch, the crutch able to attack faster than Mankind was able to attack Triple H with that, with that guitar that he grabbed from underneath the ring. As he's getting another cup of water, Triple H takes that cup away, and now he flushes Mankind in the eyes. The return of, as we see Triple H get up into the ring, but come back down, and Mankind able to capitalize on that misstep, and now he's going to try and whip Triple H into the middle of the ring. Now Mankind has already been pedigreed into the concrete. Remember that. Mankind has already taken a lot of damage. They see a huge brain buster slamming him against the mat. One, two, no. That amount of weight onto the head of Triple H was not enough. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the blue blood, taunting for the crowd as we see him get whipped around the ring some more. All the way across the arena into that barricade and the corner barricade as we see Mankind as well. Whipped over here by the announce table. Mankind getting at the back of Triple H. They're getting very close to our announce table as we see Mankind whip Triple H into that steel barricade. Able to get clotheslined is Mankind as Triple H able to turn the tide of the momentum that Mankind had built up. He grabs that steel chair off the ground, but Mankind able to attack before he's able to use it. Triple H attacking from behind, but able to get him into that table. He's got Mankind up on the table. He's going up to the top ropes. Triple H doesn't do this normally. He's all the way up there with a huge elbow slamming Mankind through the announce table here. Through that. And we get a huge high knee to the face of Mankind. He's picked up by Triple H and another knee to the face of Mankind as we get a zoom in shot on that face. Triple H goes to the pin one. No. As Mankind kicks out, he's got that blood on the face from that high knee. As he gets the Socko now coming into the ring. He's going to get the Socko chokehold. The mandible claw. On to Triple H. And now he goes for the pin. One. Two. No. Not even a two count. Triple H able to kick out of Socko. Kick out of the mandible claw. A series of kicks. Goes into a pedigree. As you see that bloody face. Going to get slammed into the concrete once again. Down onto the mat. As you see. False count anywhere. One. Two. Three, Triple H defends his title, busting open McFoley.